Welcome, my friends. So glad you could join me. My name is Wonka, and today we're going to be playing Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. And if you guys are enjoying, you still want to see some more, do me the favor, tickle that like button, leave a comment down below. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button while you're down there. Be sure to leave your suggestion for customization, whether that's paint, rims, tire, whatever you can think of for the vehicle we do today. And without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy, and I think you will. So there were no suggestions for the go-kart. I don't blame you, it was just more of a fun vehicle. Nothing really too much going on. So I figure, when are we ever gonna pick hot pink? Pro probably never. I mean, I, sh I shouldn't assume. Maybe maybe there'll be that magical vehicle that you guys are like, you know what, that'll look good in hot pink. But I just, I made our go-kart hot pink with some black accents here. And, um, you know, not bad. Not bad for a hot pink go-kart with a mini V8. Maybe? I don't know. It doesn't matter. We don't even need it anymore. It's just gonna go where the sun don't shine. The, the parking, not, you know, the other sun don't shine. Anyways, today, we're doing a Lamborghini. That's right, a Lamborghini, everybody, and here it is. <laughs> yes! Uh, I know we've been doing a lot of weird cars, and good news, they actually just released the workshop in beta right now, so a lot of modders are removing their, their mod forum sections and moving everything over to the workshop. Which is a little unfortunate since it's only in beta right now, but if you look around, you can get yourself into the beta. I can help you out if you can't figure it out. But what that means is I'm going to be getting rid of all the old cars. We're going to have to do one episode with those old cars really quick before we just get rid of them. And then I'm going to start getting to your requests that you've already made. As well as you can make some more requests. We're going to be doing any request vehicle you want. If it doesn't exist, I'll keep an eye out for it. If it does exist... Then we'll do it. But today we're going to do this beautiful tractor because, oh man, look at it. Oh my god, I can see the, the oil filter just sticking out. That's amazing. I just, I got to show you guys this. I tried it earlier just because, oh yes. Is that not just like perfect? I mean, maybe the, the little bit of clipping there is a little weird. But if I keep my camera in this range right... Oh, I saw it a little bit. This range right here looks pretty good. Looks pretty dang good. Now, um, I was thinking about this. Well, we could take a quick look. No, maybe not. Maybe the hood doesn't... It's making a... It's making a noise, but it's not actually going anywhere. So let's just take this Lamborghini front end off. <laughs> Oh, it's so weird to me. Oh, we're just working with a nice little four-cylinder. A nice little putt-putter, you know, as I, as I like to call them. They just putt-putt along <laughs> these tractors. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think it'll still be cool, but what I'm wondering is what's going to happen when we put this thing on a lift. Because, I mean, my ceiling gets a little higher over here. Uh, well, maybe. Because it's barely fitting over there, which is awesome. Like, I love the sheer size of this thing. The massive wheels, which um, I tried to find one in the salon. It was taking too freaking long. I already took a long time because everybody moved their dang mods into the workshop and I had to do the beta. And, oh, man, it was just... Yeah. But that's mud. Those are muddy tires, all right? I'm, I, I can't change the tires and rims, so, y you know. All right, well, it's... It's okay. Wow. All right, so I guess I guess these uh, modders know a thing or two about a thing or two when it comes to dim dimensions. Apparently, I'm getting like dementia or something over here. The tuning parts should work on the engine mount crane thing. I don't think I have to take this off, but maybe. So we're gonna do it anyway, because I don't want to be putting this thing up and down and down and up and. Um, gonna break my lift one of these days going up and down so much like a damn roller coaster here little tiny drive shaft there it's so little look at it I mean not as little as that last thing we did but for a vehicle of this size it's a pretty short drive shaft it's pretty pretty hilarious and awesome all at the same time all right we should be good wait wait I think I gotta take out 
One more thing. Come on, there we go. <clears throat> I believe this front exhaust section might need to come out. But, again, just, just to be safe, we're going to do it. Takes like, what, two seconds? Saves me from a headache that I already have. There we go. Beautiful. How can you save someone from something they already have? I don't know. A doctor. I'm not a doctor. You can call me Wonka PhD. Private eye. Thing. Official title. Does that seem large to anyone else? Yeah, of course. You gotta do that one... That one misturn. Every time. This engine seems... Bigger than the four cylinders that I... Worked with. Alright, 156 horsepower stock. So let's see what we can do about that. Because that's just... Not good enough for my race tractor. That's right, this is a race tractor. I, I wish it had a turbo. That's my one... My one little thing. I don't know if... There's any tractors out there with a turbo. I've seen a tractor with a boat engine once. That was that was crazy. Anyway, we're going to just hop in and um, do the little knickknacks up here. Do the bottom. Do the engine. Duh. Um, that was awkward. I don't know why I thought I could take that wheel off from there. But anyway, we'll just, uh, everybody just act natural. I'm a car mechanic, so I can't be sure, but I think, I think that's everything. I don't, I don't work on hydraulic thingamajiggy arm claws, Captain Hook. No, that's not me. That ain't, that ain't my, my forte. But engines I can do, so this I'm confident about, hopefully. I, I hate when I jinx myself like that. Sloppy to say, to say the least. Sloppy. But we're done. We're uh, we're we're halfway to a race tractor. I I don't actually know how fast this thing's gonna be, but I'm hoping I'm hoping for some for some good stuff, for some for some impressive times from the old tractor. No longer will tractors need the yield and sign thing on the back because they're slow on the country road. No more. I don't know why everything feels so foreign to me. It's crazy. I don't like it. Like each thing, tearing this down, tearing the engine down in the shop, I feel so, so clunky, so just not smooth. I need to be a smooth, I need to hone my inner smooth operator. 
All right, let's see if I did it. <sighs> so that just happened. I didn't own it. boys come in clean up the glass clean up the body do a little bit of welding do a little bit of a little bit of buffing you know they left the wheels though i like that muddy authentic it's mud not rust right it's mud i like that muddy look and um someone totally put in the strut assembly that i totally put in in the first didn't forget nothing pretty good i i like the like weird look and texture on this perfectly brand new intake that looks like it was used for never mind just never mind let's check the inventory <laughs> oh boy i'm an idiot let's try again <laughs> that's better that's more like it. So I believe I got all of the upgrade parts that we can do. So let's just carry this thing over here. Oh, no, that's not what we need. We need the crane. Hold on. We got to go a little further. You can do it though, right, Muscles? You got this. Do it. Install it. Thanks for the lift. Wait, that's the lift. That's whatever. Um, all right, yeah. So we'll just button up the final little bits and we'll take this thing out for a true Lambo cruise.
All right, time to just put the front end back on. That unfortunately doesn't open. It would be really cool if it did, but I'm not. I'm not hating that it doesn't. Just uh, put these headlights in. Look at that. Look at that. You'd think I knew what I was doing. Maybe I do. Let's find out. So the interior is no good, but we can fix that in a sec here. Just going to uh, do some finishing touches, and then we'll take it out for a quick little spin. All right. Now she's all the same color. Let me know what you guys want to see it color-wise. Unfortunately, as I said, we cannot change the rim and tire when they are drastically large or drastically small. But, I mean, there's not really a lot of tire rim combos for tractors anyways. So obviously, a lot of you are going to want to see how it does on the dyno. But first, you're going to have to uh, wait for me, the idiot, to put some oil in the engine. Let's see what this puppy can do. Has anyone ever put a tractor on a dyno? Probably somewhere. Some crazy, oh my god, look at the size of the tires. Oh yeah, look at it fucking just, uh, just sit down. Okay, 220 horsepower, 40% gain. That's pretty good off a little, a little I-4 there. So obviously nothing too impressive, but we still got to see its top speed in 0 to 60. That's for damn sure. And just go for a good old-fashioned spin, too. Like, that's that's half the fun. Oh, off-road track. I forgot about you. That's where we should take it. Light bulb. <laughs> I forgot this thing is all glass, and for some reason it looks very, very see-through in this setting. Well, let's go for a bit of a spin. The wheel was completely different when I first sat in this thing. Oh, my goodness. I also didn't replace it, I just didn't bother with the wheel and the seat. Shouldn't really make a difference. Ooh, it sounds pretty nice. Oh. That's... That's, that's gonna be a problem. Let's see if we can get a bit more of a run at it, shall we, Mr. Whoa! <laughs> Mr. Tractor. I didn't know I was gonna do some reverse air, but that was... That was pretty cool. This thing is way too heavy for this little ass engine. Okay, we can't we can't climb that. We're gonna just um, go this way again and go for a little more air. Tractor air. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> All right, let's let's see if we can climb this hill. It's a little smaller, maybe. I think we can't... Alright, this is quality right here. You better not have a property that's too hilly with this tractor, because this is the least powerful Lamborghini tractor you could ever buy. What is going on? I can't get over anything! This thing is not off-road ready. It was a lie. No, can't do it. I I tried. I tried. Jesus, this thing rocks around like crazy. Alright. We're gonna pull up to the line. And I'll show you just how slow this thing <laughs> truly is. Alright, here we go. Build up the RPMs for some serious tractor wheel spin. <laughs> well, that's it, folks. If you guys want to see more Car Mechanic Simulator in the future, do me the favor, tickle that like button, leave a comment down below. As always, if you're new here you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. Let me know what color you guys want to see the tractor that might actually hit 100. There it is. I don't know what kind of top speed it can get. I don't even know if this thing has another gear. But remember, keep your dirty dick beaters off my tools. Take her easy. <laughs> Make sure you hit that like button, because if you guys hit the like button for me, 
lots of good things happen, okay? And we can grow and do giveaways and, like, subscribe and all that good stuff, okay? Take it easy. <laughs>